shall I? I'll just call you Paul. Is that all right? Well, just then, call me Paul. Is yeah. that okay? Paul. Thanks for coming on, by sir, the way. Sir, no, call me Sir. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, you should use that. You could probably get tables in restaurants by dropping that Sir bit. Yeah, you know? exactly. That yeah. would help you. Um, thanks for coming into. You know, <laughs> I want to point something out here. We had Jennifer Lopez. Uh, she's in the building right now, and she made a huge list of demands. You know, the only demand that uh, Paul's people made, and it wasn't so much a demand as a general request. Could we have a little fresh food in the room? <laughs> and I'm sorry we didn't organise that. I'm really... <laughs> No, but yeah. I got a bottle of scotch. <laughs> Did you really? I actually got a bottle of scotch. Are you a boozer? Yeah. You're not really drinking much, are you? Uh, aren't I? I don't know. <laughs> do you, you don't puff the weed so much anymore, either, do you? I don't at all, no. You used to, though, quite a lot, didn't you? I, I have been known to, yeah. yeah. And, but now, and why have you given that up? I have given it up because uh, I don't want it anymore. I don't need it. Good. Because I'm pleased for you, because it's not a good thing to have in your life, and it promotes memory loss. It does, yeah. And I would hate for you to wake up one day and think you'd been in the monkeys. Well, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, well, I was a boxer. <laughs> and you've got a grill out, I believe. I was a boxer, I got a grill out. I want to tell you about this grill. That's the greatest. <laughs> what a bell of mushrooms you put them on there. But I've forgotten it all. It's memory loss. <laughs> forgotten it all. Oh, dear. Uh, you know, it, it's, it's such a pleasure having you. It really is. I always forget, when you meet people who are just, you know, ultra-famous, you forget that, that they are people like you and I. And when I see you sitting here, you know, I've been reminded of that fact. It's the same, <laughs> same thing with you? Well, you know? hardly, I don't think just, so. But... Just like a person. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, let, can we talk briefly about age? Uh, yeah. Because we, uh, uh, George Foreman claims to be 52. I think he's a lot older. I think he's forgotten. Yeah. <laughs> but he looks great for whatever he is. He's, he's still back there. He could thump you still. I didn't realise that. I'll change yeah. that line. Um, and you're, you're almost 60, is that right? I am almost. But well, I mean, you do look fantastic for 60. Uh, you know, yeah, OK, thank you. And you feel good? You've got all your faculties going? I feel terrific, thank yeah. you, Jonathan. What's the, what, what things have you noticed in your body about the ageing process? Because yeah. I'm 41 now, Paul. I know that's hard to Yeah, I know. I heard earlier. Um, <laughs> and I noticed my knees... I don't know yeah. what's going on down there, but when I stand up, it sounds like... You know that noise when you connect to the internet? <laughs> that's the noise. That comes, your hips are OK? I, uh, you know, <laughs> touch wood, yeah. uh, all seems to be in reasonable form at the moment. After this show, I don't know. <laughs> and do you... It's you... horribly wrong. You don't work out, though, do you? Or do you I work out a little bit. I run a bit. Yeah. Yeah, I live in the country, so I kind of just run out in the fields and hop over fences and... Hello, <laughs> it's me. <laughs> that would be... Wouldn't that be the weirdest thing? You're walking out of country lane. <laughs> <laughs> and suddenly, Sir Paul McCartney hops over a yeah. fence. <laughs> Can't stop, I'm being timed. <laughs> <laughs> we mentioned earlier on when, when George was out there, I mentioned the fact that you're a vegetarian. You've been a vegetarian for how many years now? Many, many, over 25. You're a good advertisement for it. I mean, you're a great advertisement. Well, you know, I mean, it's, it's good stuff. Yeah. It's, it's, I like it, you know. It was a long time ago. Was, um, I kind of was uh, with Linda on the farm. And we, we, we have lambs at lambing season. They're so cute. And they're so cute. Yeah. And they say, they get in a little gang, and they say to each other, let's go to the end of the field. And then they go, let's go to the other end of the And they're all running and gambling. And we're watching them, and we're eating leg of lamb. <laughs> they go, leg of lamb, leg of lamb. And so we said, maybe we want to stop this. So that was 25 years ago. No, a similar thing happened to me with, the, with looking at animals and realising they were cute. And that's why I decided not to eat any cute animals anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but cows, I think cows. you can make an exception for, can't you? <laughs> and still be a vegetarian, because they're, they're kind of silly. Some of my best friends are cows. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, do, you, do you think this is going to sound... It might sound ridiculous, but I was thinking earlier about vegetarianism, and I was thinking about this one issue. Do you think animals can tell? When, whether you're a meat eater or not, because it... No, yeah, OK, <laughs> just bear with me on this, will you? Because my children go to... Where they go to school, there's a goat at the school. Yeah. And, and if I've had meat the night before, I think he looks at me differently when I'm a kid. <laughs> I think it's very possible, Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> when you go to school, just have, like, porridge or something. Your songs have been recorded by the oddest people. I'm, you know, I know you probably have no say over this, but uh, yeah. some great performers have done them, obviously, but some strange ones as well. Uh, yesterday's been done by so many people. Yeah. I mean, it must be one of the most re-recorded songs in the history of pop. I think it is, yeah. Um, Akka Bilk's done a version. Oh, man. Love him. Love Akka. Richard Clayderman's done a version. Val Dunican's <laughs> done it. Good old Val. Oh, Liberace, that. come on. Liberace, Lee, we love him. Here's one. Snoopy the Beagle has done a version. <laughs> Even you can't be nice about that, Paul. That I haven't heard, I must <laughs> say, but I bet it's good. Uh, well, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds was done by Leonard Nimoy and William Shatner. Mm. And when I say done, I mean well and truly it done. It was done. <laughs> that was good. 
But it must um, be... Is it, is it... I think he was on drugs when he did that. <laughs> <laughs> but it was good. It's uh, still one of my favourite versions of Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. Was it, it, it just for, for entertainment? Picture though. yourself. <laughs> Do you have favourite songs you recorded? This is a kind of a very obvious question, but I'm genuinely curious whether you listen to your back catalogue. Um, the recordings that other people do, I listened to, I heard that Elvis did yesterday, mm. so I thought, I'd never heard that, so I've got to listen to that, because he gets the lyrics wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it was during his flaky period. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? I tell you, that, well, it, it, it gets the last verse wrong, but the thing these guys always do, I wrote, uh, um, to, to why she had to go, I don't know, she wouldn't say, I did something wrong, how long for yesterday. Well, Elvis and a lot of these guys who, I must have done something wrong. It's like, you know, they're not admitting it. Yeah. Maybe, <laughs> maybe <laughs> once I did something wrong, you know. <laughs> well, they're just covering their bases there, Exactly, right? a little <laughs> disclaimer they in there. I best. must have done something wrong. I don't know. Obviously, the last time I saw you perform on television was the big uh, concert which you, you organised, I believe, in New York. Well, yeah, I kind of uh, ended up organising. I just said I'd do a show, and uh, a lot of other people came on the bill. And it was for the September 11th thing, it was for the firefighters. It was the first evening they'd had an evening off, and we'd watch them on the telly going back into the Twin Towers. And they're holding up cards of people they'd lost, but they were getting wrecked in the audience. It yeah. was kind of nice, you know, just to see this sea of people having their, their first release after the tragedy. And I wrote this song called Freedom, which I hoped they would sing along. You know, I wrote it kind of custom made. And they did, and it was a great show, and we raised $28 million oh just in, t in tickets on That's the night. Remarkable. Expensive and seats. Yeah. That but, that. Um, <laughs> and then it's gone up to something like $60 million. So it's, you know, it's really good for the whole course. And you know, the greatest thing was, I found myself giving confidence to New Yorkers. Some <laughs> little guy from Liverpool, you know. Yeah. And they're on the street, hey, Paul, great what you did for the city. Freedom. Do you still think of yourself as a little guy from Liverpool, though? I am. Well, uh, I know you are physically, but physically. I mean... <laughs> but That's I, it. You know, no, Paul, come on. This bullshit. <laughs> come on, George. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean? I, For yeah. us, you know, you are Paul McCartney. No, I right? know. It's the weirdest thing, because I say to people, you know, I'm kind of ordinary, because I feel ordinary inside. I go up to Liverpool, and I go up for my family, you know, New Year's or reunions, and I can't get arrested with my family. It's like, all right, Paul, all right, do you want a bevy? You and must be like... the only family in Liverpool that can't get arrested, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I, I, I've always felt kind of like um, sort of ordinary inside. And even the, all the amount of fame you may get, I still like those kind of ordinary things. You know, I like talking to ordinary people. I don't really like meeting all the big stars like you. Yeah. Well, so he gets with the one hand, on the he takes away with the other. <laughs> hey, well, let's have a look. This is, a, this is a clip of Paul performing on stage in New York City, uh, the, the single Freedom. It's out now, and all the proceeds raised from the single, it's a double A side, go to help, I believe, the firemen themselves. Is that mm -hmm. correct? And their families, yeah. Okay, let's have a look. This is uh, Freedom. So, Paul McCartney, ladies and gentlemen. So, there you are, Pudsy. George Foreman, Ronnie Ancona and Sir Paul McCartney at Great Nights Entertainment and not a single penny raised for charity. <laughs> and mind you, Andy, I'll get the bucket, you get in the bear suit. Come on, we can do something. <laughs> Good night, thanks for watching, everyone. See you around. <laughs>